Hey YouTube, this is Offender123, and today I'm going to be giving you an app review for Mass Effect Infiltrator. So this game just came out recently for the for the release. I don't know if it's been out. I don't know if it's came out yet, but on Mass Effect 3. So yeah, so they made this called Mass Effect Infiltrator. And yeah, this game is um 4.99 in the App Store. And this game is really fun. I beat the whole game already. It took me two days. But that doesn't mean that it's short. It was pretty long, just that I played a lot per day. So I'm just going to go back to X-Wing 1. Okay, I'm just going to start at checkpoint. I'll start at checkpoint 1. So yeah, this game is really fun. You get to upgrade your weapons you get to buy new weapons you get to change and upgrade armor and it's really fun so right now i am wearing the stealth armor and now i'm running this is it has the same base controls as um what's it called dead space although not with the shooting but with the moving maneuvers so yeah uh oh let's see Oh, and if you hear, like, a little, like, I guess, snoring noise, that's just my cat right next to me. Yeah, I have, like, a cat and two dogs. So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see, how do I kill these guys? Death. Uh-oh. And then you could turn invisible, which is really cool, especially with the cell suit. If the invisibility recharge is quicker. And then, uh... Let's see if I could change this thing. Oh, geez. Okay, then that guy's dead. So that checkpoint was over. And then after every time you fight, you get this thing called a combat analysis. And it tells you how well you did in your fight. So it gives you a style. And what they mean by style is how much, how frequently you used each weapon. Like if you just use the same weapon throughout the, throughout the whole battle, you get a bad style rate. But if you change throughout your weapons... You get a good style rate, and then the time is basically how much time it took you to kill the people, and the health is, like, how much health was taken away. And, like, since I got three stars, I didn't really get a lot of health taken away. I don't even think I got any health taken away. But, yeah, so, there's, like, yeah, never mind. Never mind. So, yeah, so, so you can see, like, where I move my finger, you see there's, like, a blue thing behind it. And then with my right thumb or finger... There's an orange. So these are the kind of base controls. There's like no analog stick. You just swipe. You just swipe up a little bit to walk and then swipe up further to run. And then you use this to move left, right, up, down, and just to look around. And then, yeah, and then there's like on screen controls. So, yeah, where am I going? So, yeah, this game is actually really fun. I have all the weapons there's an assault rifle. A shotgun, a sniper rifle, and a beam. I have the beam right now, and it's really cool. And I really like how the assault rifle, like, if you use the assault rifle at the very end, um, like, he, you could see him put it away, and it looks so cool how the assault rifle just, like, minimizes. Let's see if I can use my sniper. Boop. Oh. So yeah, this game is actually really fun. Let me give you a little view of the store. The store is like basically after you get... Sorry, you see my cat in the corner. So yeah, the store is basically after every time you fight in a checkpoint, you get um, like uh, you get money, and you can use it to spend on weapons and weapon upgrades. Like my assault rifle, I have full, fully upgraded. My shotgun, I have like half upgraded. My sniper, I didn't upgrade at all, and so I didn't upgrade my beam at all either. And then the abilities, there's like sprint, slide, and cloak. And I really like cloak because cloak helps me like when I'm getting shot at and I'm about to die, I just quickly press cloak. And then it like helps me. And then here's like the arm, the helmets. So you can decide no helmet and then it changes the character. You can look at the defense helmet, which I have. No, the, um, that's the offense helmet, which I have. The defense is what I don't have. 
but and then I have the stealth which is equipped, then the infiltrator, and then the first armor because this isn't like what the first armor that you get you can just continue to buy arm armor but like the first armor you get in the beginning of the game is the infiltrator armor although you don't have the helmet on. But yeah, but I have this the stealth suit. Then there's like a melee punch thing. Like, if you're up close, you tap the character, you just, like, your fist turns orange, and then you, I don't know how to say it, you just, like, punch them. So, I don't know what Galaxy at War is, it's some weird thing. I never really tried it out. So, I'm gonna try pull to see how, I'm gonna try, look, and then I, like, pull this guy, and then I could shoot him. Although, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing, I'm gonna turn invisible. And then I'm gonna shoot, he's on the floor. Whoa. Hold on, let me change my shotgun. And then to switch weapons, you basically just have to hold on the upper right. And you see these, and then you just drag to one of them to change the weapons. So I'm going to use my beam, because my beam is powerful. Ha ha ha. Let me kill these Krogan prisoners. There's like, during some point, and the guns, each gun has unlimited ammo. Although it has just like a warm, it has like a heat. I don't know how to say it, just like heat thing, where like it can get heated and then you have to let it cool down, which I think is really cool, because I would rather have that than just like having ammo or having to keep on buying ammo, so yeah, although like I'll try to heat up, let me just let this person fill up the armor, see look her armor is filling up since I haven't attacked her, so I'm just gonna show you a gun, like after your gun gets heated up a lot, they you have, you have to like take out this mag thing and put in a new one. So yeah, let me let me progress. So the cover system is actually really cool. You you see like you see that blue arrow pointing for the left side of the thing. You could just swipe to move from different points of cover, and then you can. I'm just gonna move to different points. Ouch! And then let me see if I can shoot her. Or I think that's her at least. Don't, okay. Come out. Come out. I'm just gonna go hit her. Okay, I'm just gonna punch her for you guys. Boom. Oh, wait. That was like a push. But I'm ready. And now I'm gonna punch her. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. Just punch her. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Let me just punch her. Okay, whatever. Never mind about that. But you see how he, he like put the gun back, but I got rookie because I basically spent my time on that. See the time bring me down a little bit. So yeah. Let me and then you can like collect intel from your dead enemies. Or from the enemies that drop intel and then you could exchange intel. Let me see if this will open. And you in the store, let me show you. In the store you can exchange intel for money. So either it says upload intel to Galaxy at War or trade intel for credits. So I'm just going to trade for 250 credits. 10 intel for 250 credits. Um, I don't I actually don't really know what I'm going to buy next. Might as well upgrade my sniper rifle and my beam. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.